After more than 20 years performing at the planetariums around the world, Star Ball, a dreamy musical astronomy show, is coming home to Seattle. This will mark the fifth revival of the beloved show in our city, but it's only here for one week, so it's a limited engagement at West of Lenin's pop-up planetarium. Steve on the plaza this morning with the developers of the show, John Kaufman and Dan Dennis, and director Rachel Katz Carey. Steve, take it away. Yes, nice to have all of you here today. And as they all three mentioned during the commercial break, glad to be doing this before the 95 degree hit heat turns in today. 100%. Yes, 100%. So this starts on Wednesday. And John and Dan, I want to start with you guys because this sort of was created when you guys were working together at the Pacific Science Center, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Talk about the inspiration for this show. Well, I was doing the shows for families and school groups mm -hmm. and teaching about the constellations, the Big Dipper, but I felt like it was missing this imaginative element. And I'm a real theater guy, yeah. and it was the most theatrical space I'd ever been in with the stars. And Dan's a musician as mm -hmm. well as a theater artist, mm -hmm. so I thought, how can we combine music and theater? And I was also working with Jet City Improv in Seattle, I thought, oh, and some yeah. improvisation, get the audience involved. So instead of just seeing the constellations and pointing them out, how can we create our own constellations, create our own cosmos, and make a show all with music and people, mm -hmm. you know, creating together. That's what we really wanted to do, and mm -hmm. that's what I love about the mm -hmm. show. Yeah. For you, John? yeah, improvisation was a really important part of it at okay. the time, and uh, continues to be, you know, it's, it's really all about the audience involvement in the show. Yeah. Um, but the, in a non-scary, non-threatening yeah. <laughs> way. There, there are, there are way. people who hear audience participation and they're like, Ooh, but this is the, the most, like, welcoming. Right. You become a partner yeah. in the show. It's not right. a target. You know, okay. the nice yeah. thing is that we're in the dark. So um, people don't have to feel put on the spot. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can come to them, they can speak out, and they can say, oh, I see this thing. And we'll come to them and we'll say, great, tell us about it, and we'll find it for everyone in the sky. Just amazing. Yeah. And this has really gone global. So I know that mm -hmm. after Seattle, and again, the show starts on Wednesday, you guys are going to be flying on a little plane over to Germany. Mm -hmm. Talk about what it's been like to sort of see this go around the world. Yes, well, we, uh, we've done it in Spain 20 years ago. It uh, was our first trip out of the country to do the show um, in Valencia. And, um, you know, really, I, I, what's interesting to me about it is all the different people that we get to encounter. Okay. Because the show is so much about what people bring into the show, um, whatever culture we find ourselves in, whatever community, that's what the show becomes. Yeah. And we're looking for a connection, like the stars connect us all. Anywhere right. we can see the same stars. Mm -hmm. And so when we travel to other countries we might have a language barrier but we share the stars as something that we can connect with and that's been one of the really delightful yeah. things yeah. And I was gonna say there's some language differences obviously but do you find that once you travel from country to country that the audiences respond differently sort of based on what country you're in or are they pretty similar just because of the human experience. Uh, yeah, I think that there are a lot of similarities. Um, you know, we, we're the stories that we're telling, the stories that we see in the familiar constellations of the sky are about heroes and monsters and lovers, and you know. So those things, I think, really go from culture to culture. And also, everybody dreams, and we and part of the audience brings their dreams into the experience, and mm -hmm. that's what we use to build the world. So, mm -hmm. music, dream, stars, universal. It probably makes the world seem smaller than what it is. It's the capacity, I mean, right? kind of hopefully. <laughs> also bigger. Also bigger, too. Yeah. So when somebody comes to the show, Rachel, what, what can they experience? What are they going to see? Well, especially here in Seattle, uh, even before you get into the planetarium, there's a sort of entryway that's going to help orient you in the world. Um, and then you're all in the dark together, and these two amazing guys are going to help guide you to this world that we're all going to make together in the stars. So you're in the planetarium, you have, you're in very safe hands, <laughs> and um, it's magical. It's just magical, and it's different every single time because people bring their dreams, and we use those to build the world. Do you have a favorite part? Well, I kind of love the whole thing, but, this, <laughs> but there's a moment near the end that's different for every single show because of what we've all built together and because it's different every time and because it's something everybody builds together and it's just this sort of magical congelation yeah. is the word we use <laughs> um that's because it's amazing every time just, so just incredible what about for you guys what's the favorite part for you guys 
For me, I think the favorite part is we have this song, because we got to get people into a frenzy so they can mm -hmm. go into a dream state. Oh, yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. this song that everybody's singing different parts in the audience, and we whip them into a frenzy, and the sky's doing all this weird stuff, and it's kind of disorienting in a good way. And so it's kind of like a trippy without anything except the sky and great music mm -hmm. to get you there. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> we have to plug the website, too, because it's yes. probably the best way to get the tickets. That's yeah. right. right. Yeah, yeah. And again, it starts on Sun or, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday and runs through Sunday, right? That's right. How do you get some tickets? Uh, Westoflennon.com okay. is the way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Tickets obviously still available. And tickets are still available. No yes. Awesome. Well, it was so nice to have you guys here today. Thank you. And congratulations Thank you so on the much. success of the show and safe travels to Germany. I Thank hope you. it's much cooler over there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see. Further north. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, Kelly, back to you. It should be a great show. Oh, it really should. I love that tease, too, in talking about how there's a moment at the end that's different for everyone. I love that. All right, yeah. very cool interview. Thank you. Too. For more information on Starball and to purchase tickets, we've made it easy for you. Scan the QR code on your screen. That'll take you directly to comonews.com slash hotlinks. From there, you'll find a link 